All right, everybody, we are here at Fleet Feet with the owner, Amy. Hi, guys. Are you always here? Pretty much always here. This is my, this is my your, first home now. This is your baby. It is. It I is. remember that. I mean, it's a lot of fun, a lot of work at the beginning, but it's still, I mean, it's yours. Yeah, I love it. It's like I tell people, it's like my little kingdom. Everything the light touches is mine. Right. <laughs> Within these four walls. <laughs> so she's been helping out customers while I've been over here reviewing shoes and whatnot. Um, one of the ones that, you know, I am not a fan of is this on, which, you know, I'm not really sure if anyone can read that that it says on the marketing kind of program. It looks like it says QC. I was going to say, we get QC 98% of the time. I'm like, you're going to have a funny shoe name and then you're going to have a funny logo, but hey. There's a lot of buzz. Yeah. So, I mean, because people are like, what is this? It's true. So, anyway, she heard me, you know, kind of ripping this shoe and she had some suggestions that of places that you can use this, which I think are great, and I didn't think of them, so I thought maybe she could touch on that and uh, share it with you guys. Yes, you were ripping on one of my favorite shoes. I love on. Um, you know, it's not for everyone, and that's true about any shoe that we have here. You know, that's why we have so many shoes, because we have to find that right shoe for the right person. Um, this is the on, this is the Cloud X, and actually one of the great functions for this shoe is for cross training. We bring this in for a lot of people who are doing like orange theory or classes at the gym. Um, it's a nice lightweight shoe. Um, it's still gonna keep your foot in place. The heel has a little bit more structure to it, so when you're doing that lateral movement, it's gonna help out. Also, the pods are great for lateral movement because they each react independently. So, you know, when you're stepping to the side, your whole shoe's not going over. It's just those pods are gonna do that. So it's really gonna help with that, that lateral movement as well. Do you well. think your ankle's gonna go over with it? That's what I'd be concerned with. Like Zumba or something, I'd be like, yeah, the pods will be like, Psh. no, I didn't really have that problem ever. I, this is what I use when I do orange theory classes, um, you know, specifically for that, and I actually run it in on as well. Um, but I use the Cloud X for orange theory in those lateral movement classes, and I, I don't really get that feeling that I'm falling over or anything like that. It keeps me pretty stable, and like I can pop back because those pods are going to pop that energy back into my foot. So back to the other way, real quick. Well, I need anything. I was going to say, well, exercising. Yes. Nicole's pretty sensitive about lateral ankle instability because she has it herself. So. Yeah, right. I like hone in on that. Well, um, I think you've done a great job here. Is there anything that you want to add um, that's unique to your spot? I know the technology, which I think is amazing. Yeah. That is really cool. Yeah. I mean, that's, you know, one of the cooler things that we have is our Fit ID. You know, but what's neat about it is, is you know, me and my staff, we can look at your feet and see 98% of that, but it really allows you to kind of see it as well, yeah, so you know what we're sure. talking about. Um, and it kind of helps kind of just pinpoint it down to that perfect shoe, like I said, you know, they're all different, they're all for someone. Um, yeah. But you know, another great thing. Yeah, we have a lot of options, and you know, my staff here, they're so fantastic. I can't say enough wonderful things about them, and they all know what they're talking about. So if you have questions or just want to chat running, like, we love to do that, you know, just come in here and, and say, hey, how is your race going? We're here for that all day. Awesome. So I'm going to do the uh, slide for those rectangles. Okay. Before we start, if you want to just get a good little toe stretch for me. Yes, they completely still have this five or six. Five minutes. Oh, no. So the technology from that was uploaded into your iPad. Yes. Right? Okay. Yes. It's pretty fast. Pretty, yeah, yeah. pretty instant. Actually, I like to start with like a. Yeah, it gives you best fit for shoes and stuff like that. There we go. Okay. I like to start with like the actual 3D print, mm -hmm. like what would be best fitting for you. Mm -hmm. um, and then just getting into these, um, based off your foot size, not your shoe size. So those will be kind of skewed. Nobody's perfect. Nobody's perfectly right. symmetrical. So no worries there. It's crazy. It's like an A over here and then a B. Yeah. So I'm narrower on the right side. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So I think generally speaking, um, relative to the female population, it starts at like a B, B width. So yeah, just a little bit more narrow um, mm -hmm. in the right foot there. Okay. Toe, you know, foot length. That's actually pretty close. super accurate. Yeah. That's really neat. It's pretty amazing what just four cameras can capture. Mm -hmm. um, so they have tons of options, just as a side note, here with um, over the counter inserts. Uh, I really like this store because it's a custom experience. You're going to come in, you're going to meet the owner, they're going to do this cool digital scan, and they've got a lot of like solid brands. Honestly, I've been looking at every shoe in here and I don't see any that don't meet the typical criteria that I recommend in the office. So, kudos. Um, they don't have, I mean, they're going to be on the price you're in, but honestly, they're pretty competitive with Dick's or John's or something like that in town. 
Um, but I do like that, you know, like it, you're going to meet the people that work here and own this place and they're going to take good care of you. So anyway, lots of options for over the counters. This is Superfeed. This is a really popular brand. I think this is pretty much all over. Um, it's a solid insert. Um, there's many different types, but a lot of them have a, a nice arch support. Again, this is it. This is something to pick up if you can't get a custom or you need something immediately. Your turn. So, depending on how you stand, I really want to try. So this is um, Transcend, Brooks Prince Transcend. This has more stability than what I have on now. So I'm feeling these are going to be too soft for me. Just my ankle, you know, if you have tendonitis on the outside of your ankle or tendonitis on the inside of your foot, I feel like this is going to be too much give and cushion for you. So something like this one, let's not move it at all. Solid, um, solid cushion here, just a little more firmness and more stability which is what I'm looking for if you have those similar issues. Like say you have plantar fasciitis, this type of shoe would be really good for you. So, let's hop on over. These are all women's yeah. shoes, of course. We'll hit the men's section in just a minute. Um, Actually, you'll be filming that one. Okay, <laughs> right. Um, so it's a little too flexible. Let's see here. Actually, this is solid. This is, this is uh, deceiving. This is called an Aero Pub. I've never even heard of this brand. Is that a, oh, okay. Oh, it's Mizuno. Oh, it's Mizuno, Mizuno, yeah. Yeah, Mizuno's, I feel like they've yeah, transitioned from I being feel. a really flexible shoe oh, into awesome. more firmness. At the Summit, um, this is the men's selection of shoes. They have lots of great options. Um, again, they've got Brooks, On, Hoka's, Nike, you name it. Something like this, I would definitely not recommend if you're going to be outside on uneven terrain. Uh, the sole here is going to give you too much uh, flexibility. Um, it's, I've done my twist test about a thousand times now, so I think everybody knows how to do that. This shoe, just to sh show you kind of what I typically would not recommend, this sole, I've already tested this one, is uh, a little flexible. I do like the cushion, so if you are an extreme if you have a 100% neutral foot, you have no issues at all, or you're younger um, and you still don't have, you're not a pronator or a supinator, I think that you would like that shoe. But overall, not my favorite. I would go with something if you have lower back issues, knee issues. Um, I think you're going to love the cushion on um, the sole of this shoe right here. Also, this shoe um, is very stable, so you're not going to get a lot of... Um, rear foot instability so if you suffer from achilles tendonitis i think this will be a great shoe for you as well as plantar fasciitis or bursitis because a lot of people get that pain underneath um their heel right on the bottom of the uh the foot right here so if you match up your foot so if you can see all the cushion here it's going to be really comfortable for the bursa plus we can pop a little custom orthotic in there and then i can do a little horseshoe cut out and we can offload that um, first set as well. What else we got? Let's see. Again, on, you know, some people love them. I truly think if you have perfect, a perfect body and are just born to be a runner, this will be a good shoe for you. But a lot of people, you know, have issues with running for many different reasons. So if you're a runner and having problems, I would not recommend that shoe. I would drop that and maybe even try it. Here's a Brooks um, Adrenaline 19. The sole of this, cushion and stability. There are so many good shoes out now. I mean, a few years ago, we were really struggling to recommend anything outside of a Brooks. Um, buyer beware. Uh, they're pretty good. They don't have um, the anti-pronator shoe which means that the instep here is really, this might be a little bit of an anti, like a mild anti. Look at the foam on this. I mean, look at that. That is probably three inches. It's huge. And this is the um, fresh foam. This was, is rivaling the Hoka. They are catching up and the Hokas are so popular and flying off the shelves. So New Balance decided to do their own version. Um, again, 
when um, everyone was wearing the minimal shoes, I had so many runners with injuries, and we found the culprit was, you know, they're running barefoot, or they're wearing these shoes that are super flexible, so their foot is all over the place, and so the Achilles tendon, the perineal tendon on the outside, and then the um, posterior tip tendon on the inside, all of those have to compensate and are overworked. So basically they get inflamed and it becomes incredibly painful and you start limiting your daily run or activity in general. Say if you're just trying to mow the grass or go out for a hike, um, it's gonna give you pain. So long story short, they've got a lot of great options here at Fleet Feet in, at the summit. I think you're going to love the customer service here. I'm really impressed. Both people are incredibly knowledgeable. Um, they've got some cute shirts and shorts here as well. So come on out, visit these guys. They know what's going on. Highly, highly recommend. Um, the owner's name is Amy. If you have any questions, she'll be happy to help you out. Um, as always, drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you have a shoe that you want me to review that you have in your closet. Uh, please post a picture of it below, list the name, and I'm happy to give my advice. Yeah. All right, guys, see you next time.